I have now uh, painted uh, the red part. I put four layers of spray paint Tamiya there. Then there was some uh, some stuff that went over. I removed that first, uh, trying to use Tamiya paint remover uh, works, but you need to rub a lot. So I'm just wonder, is it really working? And before that, I used this one, but if you don't remove this very carefully from the body cleaner, it seems to create droplets, which basically damage the paint surface. So I don't, I didn't find any use for this. It didn't do anything really. This one, uh, I had better cleaning equipment chemicals than this. I tried them, but I didn't see any special point in them. Uh, removing the masks, uh, there was not any problems. Just carefully removing every piece and so on. Uh, some stuff I had to patch up. Instead of using the Tamiya paint, I used airbrush paint. It looks the same color. To patch up some stuff, let it dry. Looks nice. Uh, it, it corrects it basically. I was meant to correct some problems that uh, I had with the masks and everything. So now next I'm supposed to I clean basically I cleaned up these uh, transparent areas uh, from fingerprints everything hopefully I don't know there might be something in the red areas let's see I just don't want to touch any chemicals onto the painted surface there uh, the Tamiya chemicals completely useless they leave weird residues don't remove fingerprints I don't know what's wrong with them. Um, I used electrical cleaning compound, which doesn't harm plastics, which vaporizes away. I used that one and some toilet paper, which you see on the side. I used those to clean up the sur inner surfaces so that the white paint should stick. So the masks are completely horrible. I mean, I don't... They really... At least they should make better pictures and descriptions or something. Make the mask on a more rigid cardboard that the mask, that it's not like just scotch, uh, painter's scotch or whatever it's that called, but it would be actually more rigid, something that doesn't curl and yeah. I think they have not been investing in the development of these masks very much. I have a lot of masking tapes of other types for other things I've done. They are way better than these Kirsch ones. They could use the same materials maybe. Mm. So next is the scary part of painting this white, as there's no longer, there's the outer coating here, but there's no longer uh, any masks to protect the edges or anything here. So I will paint it, by the way, white to make the red come out. It's spraying basically back and forth over the edges like this, like this, and like this, like this, like this, like this, like this one time, letting it dry for what, five minutes, and then doing again, 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 and again, and again. And then letting dry a few hours uh, before removing the masking tapes. But now there's only masking tapes are left out the windows now. Looks like nice like this, but I had to patch up a lot of white stuff there. And the worst thing Okay, some stuff, not perfect lines everywhere, but okay, I'm fine with it. One of the problems I run into is that despite, due to the small Tamiya cans, I did a certain amount of layers everywhere. I tried to be conservative about using all the paint where it's, and of course, after, due to the fact that I first painted the driver, I had like few layers of this, but I ran out of Paint. Now I start to understand why everyone's talking, they're buying massive amount of this. Not everyone, but I mean, I've had people comment that they're buying a lot of paints and so on. And yeah, I had to patch it up a bit and it doesn't look altogether so good. So I just need to still do some work on the paint job of this one to get it a bit better. Here is the painted uh, body of the Turbo Optima. Um, I had a lot of problems with this one, the painting. Uh, one of the first things I noticed that uh, I should not have cut this open. 
uh, I should have left these parts be, uh, I mean, uh, before painting, because now the edges are painted a bit in some parts white. Um, don't know if that's the ideal thing. Uh, I mean, I managed to clean it up a bit. Uh, the One of the biggest problems I got, because I patched the red with uh, another paint, and I let it dry, and it seemed fine. Uh, because when I used uh, uh, another paint on top of the Tamiya paint, when I was painting the driver, that went okay. But in this one, when I put Tamiya paint on top of the dried another paint, uh, it didn't work well. Uh, the Tamiya paint is really aggressive, and it, it's kind of like it's destroying the old paint, the other paint completely from one. It's kind of like melting it away, which was a nasty surprise. Uh, I have seen this happen before, but not very often. And especially if you let it dry and you put another paint on top, it should, in many cases, it's fine. You do layering, and even if the chemistry is somewhat different, it doesn't always end up that badly. But the Tamiya paint was, yeah, I knew it could happen. I think the key to getting the best result is you use one type of paint only. You don't touch anything. Because like I tried patching just some of the Tamiya paint with the Tamiya paint remover that went wrong because there was some weird stains like in the red paint and in some white paint that, you know, the paint didn't really stick to it. I, I, they, it wasn't fingerprints, not sure what it was. Some residue there. Uh, and I tried cleaning it off and then painting on top. And it, it still, you, I mean, if you put this against, I mean, it looks okay it's like this. But if you put it against the light, uh, you can see some of the bad stuff underneath. Uh, good thing there will be stickers on top of this one. And I'm not going to be selling this. This will be, I will be driving and driving and chassis and the car itself uh, turned out okay. So if I ever want, I think I might just buy another shell or have someone professionally paint it for me. And, and oh, actually, I was thinking, what if I would buy an old original Turbo Optima from 1980s body and put that uh, on my Turbo Optima? Actually, that might be the best one. Am I happy with this? Uh, well, I'm a bit of a perfectionist. No, not entirely. Not all the cutouts went perfectly. Uh. Other paint which I had, which is airbrush. When you have these kind of surfaces here, which are like bending, like here, uh, there's edges and so on. And that paint actually sticks very nicely to them. It creates an even beautiful layer. Tamiya spray paint, you know, you put one layer, you spray like this, 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 and so on. It doesn't uh, stay well on the sharp corners and so on. So when you then look at from here on the other side, you're like, okay, it, the edge, it's not so dark as the color as in the more smoother flat sections. Uh, Tamiya paint seems to do that and one of those things is exactly certain points which the Tamiya paint didn't seem to want to stick well and didn't make a very good opaque layer of paint. That's where I was trying to use the airbrush paint and yeah like I said they didn't really go well together. Afterwards I then cut these, these holes for the attachments for the body uh, here and here and and it's this hole, and I mean, I have some sharp exacto knives, but trying to like nicely, beautifully curved cut it. I mean, I, I was unable to because it's so hard that you push the knife and you try to nicely rotate it around it, but it then suddenly goes through, and then it's so hard you can't really. It goes like uh, uh, large chunks at a time. Uh, maybe actually, I real I, I was thinking that. If I do this kind of stuff, I should have my Dremel rather. And with the Dremel slowly, or any other small hand rotational tool, I could just then kind of mill out those holes and at the same time make the edges nice with that one. I don't know. Put it in the comments if you have used some other more electric tool to cut this nicely. Any hints, I mean, I'm really a beginning in doing these legs and bodies. 
So next, uh, I will clean this up a bit, remove some of my fingerprints uh, and dust, and I will put the stickers on top of this one. 